All right, welcome to the first episode of the National Art Review with Jay Cook. I'm going to review some art. I've been an artist my whole life, all mediums, and I'm uh, going to start reviewing other people's art since I'm losing the use of my left hand, my right hand rather, my left hand's just useless. So, um, I figure a good place to start would be just, you know, some paintings that caught my eye earlier, starting with this guy. I um, just want to talk about what I like about these paintings, maybe what I w might improve if, if I can give any constructive criticism, um, but ultimately I'm looking at these, picking out these artists because they're inspirational and phenomenal and they you know blow my mind in many ways um we're gonna start here with weasling and the stagecoach it's the coachman 30 by 22 it's an oil painting on canvas this guy loves painting the wild west and um well i particularly love this this just has heart you could just see with a particular painting you can just know when it has heart, and uh, you could, obviously this is a U.S. mail carrier. He's a grizzled old man. This painting could have been done a number of ways. It could have been done with a blue sky in the background, big open sort of desert out there in the west, western United States. I mean, this could have been a blue sky, maybe a cloud or two, a beautiful day. He could have had a smile on his face, a kept upkept mustache, but no, the Weasling did the correct thing. I think he did the exact right thing. What he should. Morgan, Morgan Weasling. That's awesome. Look at this. Instead, he did the right thing. I think he chose clouds that were. He's got some overcast. That's my rap name, by the way. Um, this is this is setting the mood. This is like music. This is setting the mood. The clouds are the mood of a painting in many ways saying this is a rough day there's there's a storm impending you don't know what's about to come there's sunlight in the background but this is a ominous sign and he knows something's coming he's not happy it's been a rough day anyway obviously he's got the shotgun in case there's someone who tries to rob the stagecoach which was far too prevalent back then the wild west western justice or none at all this guy doesn't know on a day-to-day -day basis basis if he's going to survive and all in the name of getting the mail to where it needs to get to on time. A lot of, a lot of respect. A lot of respect. So yes, this is a painting that deserved deserves to have been painted. And I respect that. I respect Morgan Weasling immensely. This is just one excellent piece of artwork. And his Christmas painting I thought was great. It's all the women in the family around the table doing work, working hard. This one's actually rolling dough on the floor just because all the other flat surfaces are taken up. But grandma here, she's working, mom's working, sisters are all working. They're all having a conversation, so there's movement, there's unity in this. There's focus, which is the work. I think it's the meal that they're all putting together. Then you got the two boys. This one's screwing, up, screwing off, not doing shit. That's me. Or no, this is me messing with the fire, not helping in any way, just playing with fire, making sure that's burning. That reminds me of the time I blew up my sister's mercury sable. I was messing around. I thought it would be fun to put gasoline in a pickle jar in the garage, and then I kicked it over accidentally while it was on fire, and a, a trail of flames just found its way to the puddle my sister's car was parked in the front, in the front driveway. And then it just caught on fire and ended up exploding. It was, a, it was a horrible day. My mom got some real good backhand practice in on my face. But it was well-deserved. I mean, I did blow up my sister's car. But yeah, that's what this reminds me of. This is great Christmas time. This, this kid's probably my little brother. Or my older brother, just, you know, not doing anything. If this was more contemporary, this kid and this kid would be watching football. If this was my family, and then there'd only be three of these, four of these people, women in the uh, kitchen working their asses off for all the lazy men in our family. Um love this painting it's absolutely perfect in every way the contrast again his usage of lights and darks is second to none he just knows what he's doing again it's a travesty that 14,000 followers is all that he has he should have 75,000 or more so let's get him some more followers this isn't 
uh, any fault of Morgan's. This is, you know, painters and artists generally find their niche. And this is Western. Maybe just people don't. More people should like Western paintings. This is our history, American history, a part of it. But it's a fun part of it. So great job, Morgan. Keep up the great work. I look forward to more. And uh, thank you for being the first subject on the National Art Review.